morning, elect. I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be preferred before me. And we're going to start our study this morning in John chapter 1, starting with verse 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and says, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. He being the sacrificial lamb that was to take away the sins of the world. He being Jesus, Yeshua's Savior, and he shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And then 30, this is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. Prophetically, Elijah will come first um, to prepare the way for Emmanuel, God with us, um, that being of the Spirit. He, Elijah will prepare the way for the Spirit. Uh, Jesus will come forth first in the flesh and walk among us and, and be crucified and then resurrected, defeating death, becoming the first begotten in the Spirit. And I'm going to just switch over to Matthew um, chapter 1, starting with verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, and she was found with a child of the Holy Ghost. And then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to put her a public um, example, was minded to put her away um, privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not, take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. For as much then um, as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, and that is the devil. Uh, through his death we are saved from our fleshly prisons that hold us. Satan has no power over us, over us coming forth in the spirit. If we believe upon him that went before us as our kinsman redeemer that defeated death and has the keys of death. Uh, 22, now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, now all this was done Jesus, Yeshua, Savior, coming before, um, uh, walking among us in the flesh, being crucified, resurrected from the dead, defeating death, becoming the first begotten of the Spirit. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and death. It is he that has the keys to open, up, uh, uh, open us from hell, uh, the grave. Uh, at, um, hell being um, the unseen, the place of the uh, departed souls, this being the prison of the dead, those that are spiritually dead awaiting the judgment, the other side of the gulf. Um, that, um, and, and then, um, behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted God with us. Uh, this virgin um, is the spiritual virgin. The first virgin was a physical virgin. This is a spiritual virgin. Virgin, uh, she shall bring forth a child, uh, sh and shall bring uh, bring forth a son. Son being a builder of the family, and shall call his a name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. That is when he comes forth in the spirit and inhabits the vessels. He being the Lord of hosts. And uh, he, that is when, that is at the, uh, the second two and a half months of the five months um, of the Lord's day. That is when the supernatural realm will be opened up and he will come and inhabit the vessel he chooses to, to speak through, that being that spiritual virgin. And that spiritual virgin will um, bring Yahweh um, to the elect, present Yahweh to the elect, and then the elect will present Yahweh to the 144,000. Uh, and I saw heaven open, that being when the supernatural realm will be open, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. He's coming to judge and make war. Uh, he's not coming for salvation. It is time for judgment and war. 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword and with it he shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he shall tr and he treadeth the wine pr press of the fierceness and the wrath of almighty god he's coming with a rod of iron and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and the lord of lords and then i'm going to read of that woman um, that spiritual um, virgin uh, revelation 12 verse 1 and there appeared a great wonder in heaven as in the celestial spirit a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and her and upon her head a crown of 12 stars they are, that being those stars that of the 12 that is that's his governmental foundation that will be god's elect um, that will bring forth um, the 12,000 of each tribe of, um, being the 144,000 and she being with a child cried traveling in birth and pain to be delivered and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born and she brought forth a man child this is not the baby this is a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child and her child was called up into god into his throne that being that first child um that being the first begotten in the spirit and he sits on the right hand of god until um that second two and a half months of the lord's day and that's when he will come and then i'm going to go over to luke um chapter 16 verse uh, 19. And there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. Uh, this being a certain rich man, because uh, they say, us, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and know it's not that thy art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, sumptuously as in brilliantly, uh, luxuriously. Uh, 20. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. This being a certain beggar, and I'm going to flip over, hold your place, I'm flipping over to 1 Samuel 2, 1 through 10. And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoiceth in the lord my horn is exalted in the lord my mouth is enlarged over my enemies because i rejoice in thy salvation as in yeshua savior there is none holy as the lord and there is none beside thee neither is there any rock like our god uh, this rock is our rock not as entire that stumbling block Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let no arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is God of knowledge, that being the high priest Melchizedek, and by him actions are weighed. The, bow, the, bow, the bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbleth are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out art themselves for bread, and, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren hath borne seven, that she hath many children is wax feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave, and he will bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust, and he lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, and set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of God. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in the darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed, that being his elect, those twelve stars that are in her crown. Lazarus also means Eleazar. Eleazar was the son of Aaron that took over the priesthood of, um, uh, after uh, Aaron. 
um, um, Aaron um, it set in a new order of priesthood prophetically will be the high under the high priest Melchizedek the changing of power and Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall be priest over uh, the chief of the Levites and have oversight of them that keep charge of the sanctuary uh, and the gate is where judgment takes place. Um, Judah, the tribe of Judah, is those that hold that ruling scepter. Uh, God is taking back true Judah from those that lie and say that they are Jews, uh, as in Judah, but are the synagogue of Satan. He's taking it back. And uh, 21, um, and that was 20. And the desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table moreover the dogs came and lip, licked his sores these being the crumbs accepting of just the crumbs the, that is why he is so sick because all he is receiving is crumbs not even the crumbs uh, that fall from the table god's um, truths are freely given that accept accept him as the savior his the kinsman redeemer he will be richly fed nourished and i'm just going to flip over um to matthew chapter 15 uh, verse 21 and then went thence and departed into the coast of tyre and sidon and behold a woman of canaan came out of, um uh, this being um from verse first um verse 34 of chapter 14 and when they were gone over they came into the land of Gennesaret um, this meaning garden Gennesaret means the land of was of rich soil plenty of water for irrigation from the flowing streams and the abundance of wild trees and flowers and also the abundance of crops such as such as grapes and figs and olives and walnuts and rice and wheat and vegetables and melons that be in the garden of God and now they're in the coast of Tyre Sidon Tyre means rock Tyre being a place of trade this uh, prophetically of soul merchandising this rock is not our rock this rock is that stone of stumbling that stands in God's children's way that prevents them from coming forth in the whole in the Holy Spirit by uh, perverting the spirit that rock that stood in front of the sepulcher preventing them from coming forth in the spirit and behold a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me O Lord thy son of David that be in the key my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil Canaan meaning land of purple that being um, from Luke uh, 16 verse 19 that certain um, a rich man clothed in purple also means international trade Canaan was a flowering culture of trade that prophetically will be of souls and cried unto him that being that spirit that's within him within uh, recognizing him as her kinsman redeemer she recognizes that key of David that will unlock um, Jesus uh, that died on the cross defeating death becoming the first begotten of the spirit and has the keys to hell as in Hades and of death being of the grave a woman a womb a man is the womb that will bring forth children her daughter as in the spiritual side of man uh, has that perverse spirit of that rock And, but he answered her not a word and his disciples came and besought him saying send her away for she crieth after us but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel I am I as in the spirit of Yahweh and am being that vessel that will hold the spirit prophetically being the two witnesses uh, for the lost sheep that have been scattered um, this being of his flock that know his voice that um, being the God's elect that are going to be gathered um, by that uh, by the angels the spiritual messenger um, and um, I'm going to go over and read about them um, and what Jesus says about them in John 10 verses 11 through 16 he says I am the good shepherd the good shepherd give, giveth his life for the sheep but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not see if the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep 
The hireling fleeth because he's a hireling. And he careth not for the sheep. He don't care about uh, leaving them in anything. He didn't even leave the crumbs. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and, uh, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Willing to give up their life, knowing that they um, could die in the flesh. And other sheep I have which, were, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Uh, that being um, the two witnesses that will bring forth Yahweh um, to the uh, elect, and then the elect will bring forth Yahweh to the 144,000. They will be one fold, one shepherd, one flock. This flock being his elect, um, and then verse uh, 25 of Matthew 15. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Uh, worshipped him, uh, that being him, Yahweh, in the spirit. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. Um, this being the, the children's bread that is reserved for God's elect. Uh, that have been scattered, um, that he is um, waiting um, for that appointed time to bring forth, uh, that, um, that he is coming to bring back into the fold, he being that good shepherd. Um, this bread being spiritual nourishment, heavenly bread. Um, dogs are willing to serve their masters, to just be content to eat their crumbs, their leftovers from their master's table. And then 27, and she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Uh, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. She's recognizing who that master is. Uh, she having that key of David, uh, knowing the spirit, um, who will give you that bread from heaven. And then uh, 28, and then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Faith, faith is the substance of what uh, you cannot see, but you still believe. Uh, be it unto thee, even as thy wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Uh, her daughter is um, being spiritually whole as a, in a sound mind. And then we're going to go back to uh, Luke 16, verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. Uh, he didn't even receive of the crumbs. The dogs came to lick his sores because there were no crumbs. Uh, the rich man, um, ignoring that beggar at his um, gate um, full of sores, um, he being uh, supposedly of Judah, that is supposed to um, be in... Um, charge of truth bringing truth to the people um, the dogs as uh, what is not to be holy came and licked his sores they, un they even understood he needed healing but the rich man was oblivious he didn't care because he's a hireling uh, give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and then turn again and rend you uh, the dogs and the swine are those that um, are uncircumcised um, not of the spirit um, you are to discern on um, them when they are coming to um, speak to you. You don't want to waste their t waste your time on them because you're coming at to to for ju to judge the people, not to debate the not to debate and teach. You are there to judge. Uh, they will hold you up. Um, Twenty two. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried, uh, carried by the angels, angels being the spiritual messengers. Uh, he will send his angels to gather the elect, and he shall, at that being a, at his appointed time. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Abraham... Um, for what says the scripture, Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. And he brought him forth abroad and said, look now towards the heavens and tell the stars if they thy be able to number them. Thou and, and, and he said unto him, so thy, thy seed be. 
that being those 12 stars that are in her crown, 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, that being the 144,000 of the seed line of the stars, celestial. And he was, uh, he was buried um, as uh, under the earth, not heavenly. Um, the key of David is what opens the way from the earthly grave. And he did not accept that. And he and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Uh, in hell, being that place of the state of departed souls that didn't accept the key to open up the prison doors to the stars, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, God's children are to pass over the sea. These being the multitudes, nations, and tongues that the beast will rise up out of. And death and hell delivered up the dead which was which was in them, and they were judged every man. Um, that being um, man uh, in, um, that is still in the flesh that is liable to die according to their works. They did not take on the spirit, so they will be judged by the law of man. If you break one of these laws, you will be guilty of them all. The spiritual man will have the laws written in their hearts. They will have power over the law because they have the spirit within them. Emmanuel, God, be, um, God with us. He being on the other side of the gulf, um, when they will be that there, there will be that separation between the two. That prophetically will be when God separates the light from the darkness, as he did in the first day. This being when the four winds are released and the supernatural realm will be opened up. His Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth. It will only be in those that have taken of the marriage, becoming one in the bosom of the Father, as did Abraham and Lazarus, who became Eleazar, in the bosom of righteousness, uh, not as Aaron, um, as in God, speaking for God, that one God. Uh, our high priest Melchizedek and then I'm just going to read over hold your place I'm just going to read Genesis 1 uh, 1 through 5 in the beginning God created the heaven as in the celestial bodies the stars and the earth as in earthly and the earth was without form um, meaning worthless, worthless thing desert desolate uh, that being uh, the grave when you go down to the grave you will it, you will not be remembered you're worthless uh, and without, um, without form and void um, as in vacuity, as in lack of thought, empty headedness. You have no thoughts anymore when you go down to the grave. And darkness as in misery, uh, wickedness, obscurity as in the state of being unknown and hidden was upon the face of the deep as the, as the abyss. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Uh, that light being spiritual illumination, spiritual intellect, that is when the light comes in, um, when he, his Holy Spirit, and, I, and God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. That will be the dividing from the light from the dark. It will be easy to see, because you will see them with their black mask on. Uh, and God called the light day, as in um, children of the day, and then the darkness he called night, as in the children of the night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And then um, I'm going to go back to Luke 16, verse 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Abraham being counted as righteousness, uh, one of the stars, He's asking him to send Lazarus. Lazarus was that uh, priest that was sick um, of the flesh, that was not even fed crumbs. He did not have any truth in him. Uh, he said to dip as to moisten a part of one's person, uh, the tip as in the extremity, the uttermost part of his, of his finger. He's asking of Lazarus, that sick priest that was not even fed one crumb, uh, to dip as to moisten a part of uh, his person, not asking for the living waters that will only come from him, but whosoever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Uh, he, he's saying the tip, uh, not God's finger, but the, that sick priest's finger. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. And um, this flame that will come um, from the flame of the tongues of those that will have that of the Holy Spirit. 
these being the true judges that will that will take back the priesthood god's elect um king um from the king um the the king's man desiring kings over them um instead of pre of the judges and priests um they they fed themselves uh as in that rich man uh as god said that they would and we're going to read of that uh, in first samuel of hannah prophesying against um these uh, man kings or not Hannah Samuel I'm sorry Samuel prophesying over these man kings and Samuel said in verse uh, chapter 8 verse 10 and Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king and he said this will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you he will take your sons and appoint them for himself for his chariots and to be his horsemen and some shall run before his chariots and he will appoint him captains over thousands and captains over fifties and will set them to ear his ground and to reap his harvest and to make his instruments of war and instruments of his chariots and he will take your daughters to be confectionaries and to be cooks and to be bakers and he will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards even the best of them and give them to his servants and he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give it to his officers to his servants and he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work and he will take the tenth of your sheep and you shall be his servants and you shall cry in that day because of your king which you have cho the, which you shall have chosen you and the lord will not hear you in that day nevertheless the people refused to obey to obey the voice of samuel and they said no but we will have a king over us and that will happen prophetically again they will go from in god we trust to in man we trust in in man we trust i will make america great again god's levitical priesthood his saints do you not know that the saints shall judge the world and if they um they be in um again uh, acting judges there will be no more kings but one king and the lord shall be king over all the earth in that day there shall be one lord in his name one and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as fire and it sat upon each of them and they were filled with the holy ghost and they began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance not man you know, their own um voices speaking as gods but the spirit that one spirit 25 but abraham said son remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things and likewise lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and thy aren't uh, tormented he received, received the good gifts um but he rejected i am i um and him he um he that liveth and was dead and behold i'm alive forevermore and have the keys of hell and death and the sickly priest that is dead uh, when the four winds are released upon this earth the six day man's labor and work will be finished he will no longer be able to speak for i am as many gods many priests as an aaron there will only be that one voice that being yahweh who will inhabit the vessel he chooses to speak through that being prophetically being the two witnesses that will lead you to the spirit lazarus um, was content to be fed crumbs from the rich man's table uh, he was comforted because he went to the bosom of Abraham, embracing his righteousness of the stars, celestial, not of man. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months. And their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. Uh, 26. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Uh, God's children um, being the Hebrews that pass over to the other side they will pass over when they are called forth that being at their appointed time we do not go up ahead of him this being um, they will pass over the sea which is prophetically the people's multitudes nations and tongues that the beast will rise up out of that being those that will be tormented five months by that sting of that scorpion this being the separation of the of the land of Goshen 
uh, which was the, the region where the Hebrews uh, dwelled in Egypt, a town in the mountains of Judah, Judah being those that are, be, that are one in Christ Jesus, for you, brethren, have become the followers of the churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in uh, Christ Jesus. And then 27, and then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, uh, send him, that being that sick priest, uh, not accepting of I am the high priest. Then 28, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Um, five meaning grace, um, as in five the husbands of the woman at the well that God gave grace to. Five, um, because she was given grace because she acknowledged him as her husband, the provider of that living water. Um, that he being Lazarus, um, he, they, he uh, wants Lazarus to be that mediator, uh, that sick priest that was willing just to be fed of crumbs. No truth at all. Just man's nonsense. Abraham says unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Uh, they, they be in those that will be judged by the laws of Moses because they are not of the Spirit. Uh, having the laws in their heart and the prophets there is to be only that one prophet and that is that one John John meaning gracious as in that five I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness make straight the way of the Lord as said the prophet Isaiah let them hear them as in um, the prophets and the, uh, Moses um, as in the law of man and he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they would repent. Uh, one went, as in that certain beggar who was just fed of the crumbs, went unto them, that being those that are, that are of, the, of Moses and the prophets, from the dead, as in those that are of the spiritually dead, the, de the priesthood of Aaron that is now dead, done, gone away, um, done away with, uh, and the priesthood of Melchizedek has now arisen, that being God's elect, they still want the, that um, earthly Aaron's um, nonsense. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Uh, these being the, um, the dogs and the swine. They, um, they, are, they do not understand truths of the Spirit. They stay um, with man. And then we're going to go back to John, um, verse 31. And, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel, therefore am I come baptizing with water. Uh, this being, um, he should be made manifest to Israel. Israel um, being those that will serve um, God, not man. He will rule as God. And M being the vessel that will hold I prophetically, um, that being the two witnesses, um, this prophetically will be um, leading you uh, to the uh, living waters of truth, uh, not the crumbs, but the truth, um, that the true rich man's table, where you will be richly nourished, um, not just the tip of the finger of man, but him, uh, Yahweh, the finger of God that shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life, um, being of the stars. And then 32, and John bear records saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him. Uh, this being from heaven as in the celestial. Doves are known for their powerful, precise flight patterns and the whirling sound created by their wings. The wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again, that being the Yurok, the spirit, according to his circuits, as in that circle, that compass, the circle being that celestial realm that circles the square, being of the flesh man. Um, birds need water to survive, and doves have an uncanny way to drink water uh, without raising their head. They drink water with their heads down and their bill immersed, while most other species take water into their mouth, then tilt their head up so the water goes down their throat. Um, it was um, God, um, how um, his armies, um, his soon-to-be armies um, drank water was important to God. That is how he chose his army. And we're going to read of that in Judges. 
7, um, verses 4 through 8. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down into the water, and I will try them as to test them uh, there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people into the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Every one that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth him, shall thy set by himself. Likewise, every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink. Dogs will hold water in their tongues as, um, as in the doves that hold water in their bills. Uh, they retain the water in their mouths, not as um, dip, as just to um, uh, moisten as that tip of that finger. It abode on him, that being that living water that holds the water in the bill, not um, that outward immersion, but the inward. Uh, John answered and said, I baptize with water, but there standeth one as that dove, um, that one among you whom you know not. They baptize the outward body by immersing themselves in water to cleanse the outward when it is the inward water that will cleanse the man. And then we're going to um, go back to John um, 1, 33. And I knew him not, but, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. Upon whom thy see the spirit descending and remaining on him. His eyes are as the eyes of doves. By the rivers of waters washed with milk and fitly set, behold thy art fair, my love, behold thy art fair, thy has dove eyes. He being the beloved and her being the beloved, they both have eyes of the dove, the dove being symbolic of the Holy Spirit, the inner man being Yahweh of the Spirit. She being that woman that first recognized him in the spirit, taking him to be her husband, uh, recognizing um, that true provider of the, of the living water. And I'm going to read of her in John 4. We'll come back there. But I'm going to read uh, in John 4 of that wife, uh, verse 6. Now Jacob's well was there. And Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. The sixth hour is still the sixth dimension of time when man can still labor and do all their work. They can still speak for God. But at the seventh dimension of time, um, the um, man's labor will be finished. It will be time for the spiritual man to come forth. And there cometh a woman of Samaria. Samaria means watch mountain. She's on watch, so he's coming to visit her. Uh, she's coming to draw water, and Jesus says unto her, Give me to drink. He's testing her, as they did in, um, with Gideon. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy me. We are not to go into the city. We are to come out of the city, and we are not to buy the meat. The meat will be provided to us in the last two and a half months of the five months when the supernatural realm will be opened up and our high priest will inhabit the vessel he chooses to speak through. And then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask of drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. And Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that says to thee, Give me to drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. It is a free gift. And the woman says unto him, Sir, thy has nothing to draw with, and the well is deep from whence thy has this living water. She is not recognizing uh, who's speaking to her, that spirit that is within. Aren't thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Now she's perceiving that he is greater than father Jacob, the heel grabber, the supplanter. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. If you drink of Jacob's well, you will thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And the woman says unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. First she has to recognize him as her husband, that provider. Jesus says unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. And Jesus says unto her, Thy is well said, thy has no husband. And, um, 
wait a minute. For thy has had, um, Jesus said, uh, thy as well said, I have no husband because he is her husband. He's waiting for her to recognize it. For thy has had five husbands. There comes that five, that grace time. And he whom thy now has is not thy husband in that saidest thy truly. The woman says unto him, Sir, I perceive that thy art a prophet. She perceives now that he is the, the prophet, the anointed one, Christos. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship, Jerusalem being a condition of truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Jerusalem prophetically will be a condition of truth. Jesus says unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. When the four winds are released, God's Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth and will only be in those that have taken of the marriage. You worship you know not, we know what we worship, for the salvation is of the Jews, Jews being those that are of Judah that will come forth first in the Spirit. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. He is seeking those out that understand that he's a spirit, and he has to uh, ab abide within a vessel, because he's the Lord of the host, Emmanuel, God with us. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the woman says unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ, as in Christos the anointed one. When he is come, he will tell us all things. And Jesus says unto her, I that speak unto thee am he, I being in um, that spirit that is within her, the vessel. And verse 28, And the woman then left her water pot, and went her way into the city, and says to the men, that being those men that went into the city to buy the meat, come and see a man which told me all things that i ever did is not this the christ then they went out of the city and came unto him she will be that one that will lead them to those living waters they are one um the beloved and then um back to john 1 33 uh, uh 34 i mean and I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God, Son being that builder of the family of God. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. Um, and, and looking, and, and again, um, the next day, after John stood, and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he says, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, that being that sacrificial lamb, our kinsman redeemer, who came first, uh, saving us from showing us the way to the Spirit, um, leaving man, um, going to the Spirit. And the two disciples uh, heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Uh, they heard him um, speak, that um, being him, the Spirit that is with them. And they follow Jesus, Jesus meaning Yeshua Savior, uh, leaving John. John uh, means Yah is gracious, he being that forerunner, preparing the way unto the Spirit. And then Jesus turned and saw them following and says unto them, What seek ye? And they said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted master, where dwellest thou? Uh, he wants um, them to under. he's addressing that uh, as a question. Why are they following him? Um, not going on before him as the other or others, uh, as the supplanters, but following him. And they, they recognizing him as their master um, of the spirit. And he says unto them, come and see. And they came and saw where he dwelt and bowed with him that day, for it was about the 10th hour. Uh, 10th hour, that being, um, those two that followed him, two conveys the meaning of a union of facts by two witnesses. Um, a man and woman being two in number are made one in marriage, the union between Christ and the church. Uh, ancient Jews counted not from midnight, but from sunrise, um, the, uh, thus the hours of the day um, beginning at dawn. We have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you, you do well, that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts, um, which is the first hour and continues through to the sixth hour, which is about midday. 
and until the 12th hour um, after sunset, calculated by the four watches. Um, the 10th hour is, is around four in the afternoon, uh, being a type, uh, four being a type of uh, basic demarcation of time, a type of signal that will mark off days and years and seasons. The Hebrew word for seasons is moad, which means appointed time of uh, waiting, uh, divinely appointed times. Uh, the fourth commandment is to, re to remember God's holy Sabbath is tied directly to the creation week. Uh, in the summer months, there are, the, uh, there are three watches, three being of the Holy Spirit, and summer is the time of harvest. It is, it is the time of year when all previous months have been built to, uh, built to the climax. When the night was shorter, um, that being because of the Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 it was later in the afternoon to, um, as to be zealous, to teach and instruct um, even to the end of a long day, that day starting in, that, uh, on, on, in the morning on dawn. He's, and he says unto them, Come and see. And they came, and, and he had dwelled and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. Um, ten representing testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets, as in Moses, um, and the prophets um, that the rich man's um, brother were to go to, but fulfill it. I, as in Yahweh of the Spirit, am being the vessel that holds the Spirit, this being the finger of God that wrote those laws in the stone. He will write um, them in our hearts and our spirit. And then I'm going to go over to Proverbs uh, 31, reading 26 through um, 31. She opened up her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done victoriously, but thy have excellently them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. And then on verse 40 of John 1, And one of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. John meaning Yah is grace, gracious, this being that time of grace, um, this being the Elijah ministry uh, that comes before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, preparing the way to the Spirit. Uh, Andrew meaning man of vows, man of liberty, under a husband, um, accepting of her husband. Uh, then 41 of John 1, and he first findeth his own brother Simon and says unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ, um, brother as in brethren, um, being one of the brethren, Simon meaning to hear, to understand, obey, uh, as a rumor of a thing heard. Christ being Christos, the anointed one, um, the woman at the well who first recognized him as her husband that left her water pot and went into the, to the men in the city, come see a man which told me all things that I ever did, is not this the Christ? In verse 25 of John 4, the woman says unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he has come, he will tell us all things. Uh, she being the one um, uh, with Christ, um, they being one, husband and wife. And she brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thy aren't Simon the son of Jonah. Thy shall be called Cephas, which is interpretation of stone. Um, brought him to Jesus, and Jesus beheld him, that being that spirit within. Simon, he who understands, um, as in to obey a rumor or a thing heard. Uh, the son of Jonah, as in the dove, as the Holy Spirit. Cephas meaning a stone man, a smooth stone, as in being worn smooth. Stones were worn smooth by the wind, as in the Uruk, and the Holy Spirit, um, uh, um, as in the water, uh, as in the living waters. 43, and the day following Jesus would go forth into on um, Galilee and findeth Philip and says unto him, follow me. Galilee meanings a circle, uh, to roll in circle, as in over a process of time, as in those stones worn smooth over a process of time. Um, it, 
also expressing a circular motion associated with joy, a celebration, a circle of time of age, that being that, um, that seventh dimension of time coming forth. And Philip, meaning lover of horses, as in he who leans on his military complex, also means a friend, beloved. Uh, those horses of Revelation 19, when Yahweh comes in on the white horse, and the armies which are in heaven follow him upon white horses, and says unto him, being Philip that loves horses, follow me, as, as those that follow him on the white horses, that being uh, spiritually, being in his army. 44. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Bethsaida, Beth meaning house, um, and to hunt or fish, uh, to get meat. When he comes in uh, spiritually um, of Revelation 9 on that white horse, as when he will inhabit the vessel he chooses to speak through as our uh, high priest Melchizedek, that is when we will receive the meat. Jesus fed his disciples the fish. Uh, the city of Andrew, meaning um, man of vows, man of liberty, under a husband, and now called um, Peter, being the unmovable rock, Christ, not as a tire. Philip findeth Nathanael, and says unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Philip, being that lover of horses, of the military horses, supernatural armies of God, findeth Nathanael, meaning God has given to bestow, to be gifted, and Jesus Yeshua, Savior of Nazareth, meaning watchtower, consecrated place, of the Nazarites, the set-aside ones, the son of Joseph, son being um, the builder of the family, Joseph being the tribe of the firstborn, as in the elect that will come forth first in the spirit. And he blessed Joseph and said, uh, God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, to, um, to, um, which fed me all my living unto this day, uh, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads and let my name be named on them. In the name of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and let, um, let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Joseph, meaning, may he add, the increaser. And um, we're, we're going to read of um, what was said about him in the end days in Genesis 49, starting with verse uh, 22. Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers sh sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands uh, were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, uh, the stone of Israel. He being that shepherd, that stone of Israel. Even by God of thy father, who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of thy fathers have, um, father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph, and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Uh, then 46, and Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? And Philip said unto him, Come and see. That being that a good thing, the good news, come and see, as to spiritually see, that is to perceive, listen to. And Jesus saw Nathanael come unto him and says unto him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. He being an Israelite, um, that um, Israel being that name that was on Joseph's head. Uh, will be upon uh, that was on, being the increaser may he add and guile meaning a decoy a trick being those that claim that they are are our brethren but lie and are the synagogue of satan and nathaniel said unto him whence knowest thou me and jesus answered and said unto him Bef before that philip called thee when thy was under the fig tree i saw thee philip being the lover of horses as in a spiritual army under the fig tree um under his shadow, that fig tree shadow, they covered themselves with fig leaves, leaves because of their sin. Uh, they being from um, that tree that we were not to partake of. I saw thee. It is Yahweh who will gather his elect for his army because he's being a cardio knower. He knows their hearts. Um, he will pull us out of um, the perverse spirit of Egypt uh, and bring bring us um he knows um who is truly seeking him and loves him 
And Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thy aren't the son of God, thy aren't the king of Israel. Uh, that one king of Israel, um, that one that um, presented, a, that prevailed over the flesh man, um, he rules as God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thy shall see greater things than these. Uh, he's gathering his elect, he being that cardio knower. Uh, the woman uh, tells uh, them, Come, see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is not this a Christ? That being the, uh, the first fallen man, man who sat under the fig tree, taking part of, the, um, of his tree over the tree of life. And he says unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see the heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Uh, hereafter, that being after he gathers his elect, and they are sealed with truth, then shall the heavens be opened. Uh, that being when the four winds are released, and the supernatural realm will be open, and the spiritual war will begin. Uh, the white horses that follow him. And then I'm going to go um, to John 2, verse 1. In the third day there was a marriage in Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Third day, as in three, is in the Holy Spirit, um, um, the spiritual wedding, um, prophetically the uniting with um, man, um, with, a, um, with spirit, his um, marriage. Um, Cana meaning um, to weave, to interlock, a network as to um, make a nest. It also means to um, acquire, create, purchase, fit together, fabricate, to, to bear arms as in a spear. Spear bearers um, have the right, with spear bearers, they have the right to bear arms representing of a free man, owning property, conducting trade, uh, means to, uh, to make or become straight. When you throw a spear, it's a pointed in a straight. Also means um, a place of reeds, um, the mother of Jesus was there, she being that first mother who, bring, who brought forth Jesus Yeshua Savior. And then verse 2, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Um, they both, Jesus, meaning Yeshua Savior, that was born in the flesh, walked among us, was crucified on the cross, um, defeating death, uh, resurrecting, defeating death, which is the devil. Um, be in the grave and his disciples those that follow him that understand he was that one that defeated death and have the keys of David not man ways if you just listen to us and do what we, we say you will not uh, die in the flesh uh, they are called to the marriage um, they have not yet come forth yet in the spirit uh, this being the first two and a half months on um, the Elijah ministry that will prepare them for the arrival of the spirit that will come in the last two and a half uh, months. Uh, three, and when they, they, and when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus says unto him, they have no wine. This being the new wine, this being the mother of Jesus as in Yeshua savior that comes forth first preparing the way. He being that first begotten in the spirit that now sits in the right hand of the throne in heaven until he comes in as, on that white horse. Uh, four. And Jesus says unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Not, my hour is not yet come. Now he's calling her woman. A woman that is a womb, a man, that will bring forth the children. His hour is in that last two and a half months, uh, is not yet come. Uh, that five months being the Lord's day. His mother says unto the servants, Whatsoever he says unto, uh, says unto you to do, do it. Um, these being the servants, in verse 2, they are called the, the, the disciples. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto John, to him, uh, as in John, meaning Yah is gracious, that being that grace period of the Elijah ministry to prepare them for his arrival of the marriage, um, to show unto his servants, things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and he signify, signified it by his angel unto his servant john whatsoever he says that being john yah is gracious that pro prophet elijah say unto you to do do it and then six and there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the jews containing two or three firkins apiece Six as in weakness of man, in chapter 1, verse 42, he called him Cephas, a stone. Stone being those smooth stones, 
also Joseph was called that a stone um, in um, 49 chapter four, Genesis 49 uh, being those smooth stones worn smooth over a period of time God said he will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a new heart after the manner of purifying of the Jews prophetically will be of the living waters um, firkins means a standard of measure for fluids uh, two being the union of two in a marriage and three representing of the Holy Spirit the union of, of uh, in the marriage um, with the Holy Spirit and he said uh, uh, unto them draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast and they bear it the governor over the people was on um, Joseph um, in Egypt Egypt being prophetically of the perverse spirit uh, Joseph meaning may he add the increaser um, Joseph was the governor over the land uh, that being that land of Goshen and he was that sold to all the people um, of the land and Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth and told him saying Joseph is yet alive and he is governor over all the land of Egypt Joseph was embalmed embalmed means to be preserved that being his spiritual storehouse of truths are preserved for us for the time of the famine um, um, we will be given the truth when that Holy Spirit is withdrawn from the from this earth we will still be given that truth when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew it not whence it was but the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom the servants did which knew um, the water uh, they knew uh, it was the new wine uh, the new teachings it is now time to call the bridegroom because they understood uh, of the new wine the new teachings letting go of that old and um, in the ceiling will now be done and says unto him every man at the beginning does set forth good wine and when men have well drunk then that which is worse but thou hast kept the good wine until now this good wine is till now of the spirit because of the marriage union being husband uh, 11 this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him this being his glory shining forth they believed on him that being that Jesus that went before us that defeated death and now sits on the right hand of God on the throne until he comes at his appointed time to shine forth through his elect his chosen um, they will shine with his glory that be in his elect and after this he went down to Capernaum he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples and they continued there not many days Capernaum meaning town of consolation describes the price of a human life um, the mercy seat to be sorry have regret have compassion repentance we are to understand the true price he paid for us we are to reflect on it and repent of the ignorance over it the ignorance of 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 speaking for God in the flesh and the Jews Passover was hand, it was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem it is um, time for the Passover that meaning Passover to the other side we be in Hebrews this being the battle call to go forth uh, Jesus um, went up to Jerusalem Jerusalem being that condition of truth 14 and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting God's elect are to follow the way of Jesus who went before us um, we are to drive out those that are casting stumbling blocks making merchandise of the Holy Spirit charging for God's truths when they are freely given if you truly seek them with your heart 15 and when he had made a scourge of small cords he drove them out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and, and poured out the changers money and overthrew the tables we are to overthrow them this is the judgments making things right um, we are not to be gentle about it he is coming in on a war horse with a rod of iron and a sharp sword of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth forevermore the zeal as in jealousy envy of the Lord of hosts will perform this the Lord as in Yahweh of the spirit 
um, and the host that will hold his spirit. Uh, that mighty or army of Israel, he will rule as God. Man's merchandise, merchandising tables will be overthrown. Um, and then and, and his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thy house has eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thy, thou doest um, these things? That sign that you will see when it's time and, this, and the table's being overthrown and it changes, that, um, that mantle changing over from the two witnesses um, that be in the grace period, the Elijah ministry, when all the truths will be given uh, and the marriage will uh, come, the governor of the feast calls the bridegroom uh, and they're sealed you will not have any more truths coming to you. You will be fed everything that you will know. And you will know then, if you come in the morning and the manna is not there, it is time to go forth. And then 19. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will thy rear it up in three days? Um, this temple, as in, um, as in man's, uh, this temple, um, but he spoke of the temple of his body, uh, as in um, the spirit, the many-membered body. And I'm going to go over and read Ele Revelation 11, verses um, 7 through 13. Uh, yeah. And when they shall have finished their testimony, that being the two witnesses, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that great city, um, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Um, they will not be put in the graves. Um, they are of the Spirit. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half, the Spirit of the life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great uh, fear fell upon them uh, which saw them. And, the, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they sent it up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake were slain of men, seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God um, of heaven. And then uh, 20. And then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will I rear it up in three days? Forty meaning probation, uh, that being the release of an, offend, of an offender from detention subject to a period of good behavior. Under the supervision, the process or period of testing or observing the character or abilities of a person in a certain role. Six being weakness of man. Six also being the... the um, in true beast power representing of the very best man system of government can produce without God under the uh, constant influences of his chief adversary uh, that being um, the earthly temple we are the temples of God uh, this representing of the six day man at the seventh dimension of time their labor and work will be finished uh, the spiritual man is to now come forth three is in the Holy Spirit uh, coming forth when he spake of the temple of his body, that being that many-membered body. And when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered um, that he had um, said unto them, that, um, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Um, this being his body, the two witnesses will take on Yahweh first when he comes to the earth, and then the two witnesses uh, will present Yahweh to the elect, and the elect to the 144,000, that being that whole body and then um, prophetically being the rising of the spirit within the two witnesses. Um, 
And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And then 23, and now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover and the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. These being those that had, that see as to physically see miracles, not uh, per, perceive, perceive as in spiritually. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. These being all men as in the full flesh without the spirit, as in Genesis 6, um, that mingled spirit. Um, we're not to waste our time with them. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man, um, being those that are of the flesh, uh, that being cast in your pearls before swine. We are not to waste our time on them. We're just in a, we are to just move on. Uh, then 3.1. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This being the man of the Pharisees, believing in man's teachings, not of the spirit. Nicodemus meaning victory of the common man, conqueror of the people. He was the ruler of the Jews, as in those that lie and say that they are Jews, Judah, but are the synagogue of Satan. They are not of our brethren, too. And they, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thy art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thy doest except God be with him. Uh, he came by night. Uh, God's children are not of the night. They are of the day. Um, can do these miracles. Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek, of me, you seek of me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled, this being of the angel's food of the Spirit. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again as in the spirit, as in the marriage, when he, when we, um, he opens our spiritual eyes to see uh, the true miracles of the spirit, uh, not what we can see uh, in the flesh. It is in a different realm. Uh, when he opens up your spiritual eyes, you will be amazed at what you see. Um, it is not of, the, of this earth. Naked, you will only see spiritually um, um, and think spiritually. Nick and, and the spirits will come to you. You will recognize them. Nicodemus says unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Uh, he is speaking uh, um, as the flesh man, not of the spirit. And Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, You must be born again. Uh, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whether it cometh and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Um, that wind, his breath, being blown into our nostrils, um, that being when you will be sleeping, uh, you will be woken up by like the sound of church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. Uh, the, the bells were on the bottom of the high priest's robe. This is your high priest Melchizedek. <coughs> I priest Melchizedek coming to visit you you will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him this will be the quickening making you spiritually alive where you'll be able to spiritually see and spiritually hear when you see this vision of this man sleeping with breath being blown on him this will let you know that you have been anointed in the Levitical priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek it is only Jesus Christ that will anoint his priesthood of the end days and then verse 9 and Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? You be in the master. And then verse 1, the ruler of the Jews, Jews being those that are, are to be one in Jesus Christ, uh, how, you don't know these things? Uh, that being those that say that they are Jews and are not, and they are the uh, synagogue of Satan. You will know them by their fruits, as in the Spirit. If they speak in the flesh... You will be cast in your pearls before swine. Uh, God doesn't want to waste your time on him. Um, he is preparing us for our spiritual uh, war. And um, he's telling us what to look out for. But when you, have your, when you are awakened, uh, you will perceive. Uh, verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak 
that we do know and and testify that we have seen and you receive not our witness you receive not our witness that being that testimony uh, they will come seeking us but really they're trying to hold us up by wasting our time we are not to uh, we we are now to judge we are not to teach um, we are not to debate we will be casting our pearls before swine um, that are coming just to hold us up I um, and his last words were, um, you receive not our witness. Um, you receive not our witness. Uh, and them, um, so we don't waste, they are not um, accepting that testimony. Uh, it, it, we are to move on. And then on 12, if I told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? And if no, and no man has ascended up to heaven, excuse me, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be uh, lifted up, that being that seraphim, that whosoever be believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He being that key of David. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loveth darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Every one that doeth evil hateth the light. Uh, neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. They're going to hate those that shine with that glory. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. And after these things uh, came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and, and baptized. Um, there, now they were coming into Judea, Ju Judea prophet, prophetically uh, of our brethren, one in Christ Jesus, not as a Nicodemus who doesn't even understand um, the, uh, the Spirit, um, this being of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, not of his mercy and water uh, of the outward man. And John also was baptized in Anon near um, to Salem because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. Um, he, um, Anon meaning spring eye, spring of eyes, a place of praise, uh, meaning um, both eye and fountain, well or spring, as in the eye produces water in the form of tears. Water and light are deeply akin to the eyes being the windows of your soul. The eye considered a fountain that watereth uh, the outward face with water, and the internal mind with light, a place of spring, also means um, to tell about, speak of in a uh, positive way, to praise. And Salem means a completeness, made whole, complete, peace. Uh, there was much water there, uh, this being that water of everlasting life. For John was not yet cast into the prison. Prison being those, um, that time of Revelation 11, verse 7, and when they shall um, make, when sh they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. Just as Herod beheaded John, that being that mouthpiece, um, trying to stop that mouthpiece from speaking. And I'm going to go over and read um, in Mark 6 of what Herod, um, when Herod tried to do that, or Herod um, believing that he has come back from the dead. Uh, Mark 16, 14 through 16. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad, and he said, That John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. And others said, That is Elias. And others said, That is a prophet, or one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. 
they be in the resistors that want to prevent Yahweh from coming forth. And then 25, and then there arose a question between some of the John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. John disciples being of the Elijah ministry, the ministry that will, will prepare for the arrival of Yahweh. Jews being those that are one in Judah, um, becoming one in marriage for you brethren to become followers of churches of God which are in Judea which are in Christ Jesus and then 26 and they came unto John and said unto him Rabbi he that was with thee beyond Jordan to whom thy hair bearest witness behold the same baptizeth and all the men come to him John being the forerunner that prepares the way we are to look uh, to the spirit um, not the vessel listen to what is being said and John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it will be given to him from, a, from heaven, this being heavenly. Um, we can do nothing on our own. Be yourselves bear me witness. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not Christ, but that I am sent before him. He, he preparing the way for the spirit. He that hath the bride is a bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom which standeth and heareth him rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. Uh, the bridegroom and um, the bride and the bridegroom united in marriage. But listen to the bridegroom's voice, uh, who will come after that marriage. That being um, Revelation 19, when he comes in spiritually on that white horse. That second um, two and a half months, uh, second part of the two and a half months, when the spiritual realm will be opened up, and will that be being the changeover from Elijah's ministry to Yahweh. He must increase, but I must decrease, because um, the Elijah ministry will be finished. It will be done. Um, the testimony will be brought forth. Uh, Revelation 11, verse 7, um, will come forth through the, uh, God's elect. He that cometh from above is above all. Um, everything that she is, the Elijah ministry is to say, it will be said. Uh, the passing of the... Um, of the um, mantle he that cometh from above is above all he that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth he that cometh from heaven is above all he is above all that being the king of kings and the lord of lords our high priest melchizedek in heaven and what he has seen and heard that he testifieth and no man receiveth his testimony not man as in those of nicodemus um and the rich man um the ruler of the jews um that do not accept of the spirit uh, they that say that they are Jews are not and are the synagogue of Satan. He that received, he that have received his testimony has set to his seal that God is true. Set to his seal, his signet, the signet being that name in um, in the testimony. I mean, in the territory of Lord, um, as in Yahweh of heaven and earth. Twelve thousand from each tribe of Israel, being the hundred and forty-four thousand with his seal, uh, uh, thirty-four. And for he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and has given all things into his hand. Son as in builder of the family, the increaser. Uh, Joseph the governor over the people, uh, hand as in power. Revelation 11, verse 1. And there was given me a reed unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. Um, and then I'm going to go over to Revelation 10, and I'm going to read um, verses, uh, starting with verse 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel, and I said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it. And eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. It's going to be in the angel's hand, as in the angel's uh, power. Uh, and an angel being a messenger of the spirit. And I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Because it's going to bring the judgments. And he said unto me, Thy must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Uh, these judgments will come upon the peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues that the beast rises up out of. Um, this being what we are to speak, and we are not to be a gentle. It is in um, uh, the hand, um, the power, 
of that angel that um, the Elijah ministry will end and the elect will take that rod um, because it is measured. The temple is full. The Levitical priesthood is gathered um, and anointed and will, um, and will now be sent forth. Um, you will know that when this happens, um, when the ministry will come to an end, you at that time will, um, will have received all the knowledge that is needed for your advancement to go forth. And then verse 30, um, let me go back to, um, got one more verse, I'm sorry that I didn't read, oh, verse chapter 3. Thirty six, and he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Thou hast loved righteousness and noted iniquity, therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with oil of gladness above thy fellows. There will I make the horn of David to bud. I have adorned a lamp for my uh, anointed. And I'm just going to finish it with Revelation 1 uh, 1 through 6. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and he signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep these words which are written therein for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from which from him which is, which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Uh, amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the, and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and says the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. And we're going to end this today, Alec. You have a great day until the morning.